Happy October, everybody! Welcome to Club Chrisette. I'm your host, Chrisette, and today we're going to be playing a game called Stitch. Now, I don't know too much about it, so this is going to be a new experience for you guys and myself. Um, all I know is you are a girl who wakes up in this doll factory. That's pretty much all I know. Oh, and it's a psychological horror, which is why it's a perfect October game. I'm really excited to play this one with you, so let's get started with Stitched. Cool, cool. I love this music already. The more you seek the light of hope, the further you will stray into the dark abyss. Anxious to return home, a young college student boarded the train, wondering what the future has in store for her. Yet, What? Oh my god. She never made it. I could see why. <gasps> I'm not saying huh, because she did. Like, I love these kind of RPG maker, which is how mad father style games. Oh my god. Okay. I'm ready. Well, where am I? What is this place? My body, why does it feel so stiff? Question mark? My hands! <laughs> this can't be! I'm trying to think how I would react if I saw that. Probably the same. What happened to me? Yeah, that's a good reaction. <gasps> My face! What is going on? She looks so cute, though. I love her little tumbler nose. Alright. The help menu can be viewed by selecting inventory from the main menu. New objective. The current objective is displayed on the top left of the main menu. Where am I? I should search the room for clues to for my current whereabouts. To my current whereabouts. Where am I? I should search the room for clues to my current whereabouts. Her whatever this is up here is at twenty percent. I don't know if that's low or high actually. So we're playing as Catherine Stockholms. Look at her! She looks so cute! I'm biased. I like her purple dress and her bow. Okay. Purple text represents the character's spoken dialogue. Blue text encapsulated in parentheses represents the character's thoughts. The full screen can... okay. <laughs> Okay. Rule of thumb, find these shiny things. A playing card. The Six of Hearts. I'm already trying to mentally figure out what kind of puzzle that's going to be for. <gasps> Is that blood? It just seems right to gasp when she jumps. The note is covered in so much blood. Stay here and do not leave this room. Everything outside will be too much for you to handle. It's not as much blood as I was thinking, and... Hmm, that's all I can read. Wow! <laughs> if it wasn't for her reading it, that's all I could... I couldn't read anything, actually. An electric lantern. 
It's missing a battery. Is it in here? Or is this just... Oh, okay, never mind. There's a table there. Uh... A strange statue. It reminds me of my mother. God, that is so mad fathery. If you're in a mysterious place and you don't know where you are and you've just been stitched up or mutilated and you see something that reminds you of someone you care dearly for, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Kathy! You had me so worried. Don't you... Don't go running off like that again, sweetie. Where am I? I'm scared. There, there. It's all right. Mommy's here. So this is our save point, then. Okay. No. <laughs> I kind of don't blame her. The door is so large. Wait. It's unlocked. Uh, a couple of batteries. Kathy obtains two batteries. I wonder. She's so proud of herself. That face is so cute. I also kind of appreciate that she put it together rather than I had to go into the inventory and construct all of that. One more shiny. Dr. Stockholm's test results for your daughter came in yesterday. It seems she has a rather unusual heart condition. It'll start beating irregularly whenever she is frightened. There is no known cure, and it could be fatal. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do for her? Please calm down, Mr. Stockholm's. Give her these pills. They will help alleviate the symptom. Is this going to heal her? Is this going to be like her health pack, essentially? These pills look like the just look like my heart medication. Swallow a pill. Why not? Hey, much better. These pills will be useful to have. We only have three. We have to use them wisely. Okay. Catherine's Sprite Bar starts at zero. If it reaches 100%, she will die from a heart attack. Well, hopefully this place isn't too spooky then. A clean bath towel. <laughs> the bathtub seems like it hasn't been used in a while. A clean sink. Wash your hands, yeah. Huh? The handles won't budge. Now it's not the time. Huh. I'd like to point out the room is overall cute. But, I mean, there's the holes in the floor, which are kind of concerning. Anything else for us before we go? I guess we'll save one more time. <laughs> a withered plant. It must have been neglected for a long time. Um, that really seems to be it. I apologize if 
one of you watching has played this game, like you're just screaming at something I'm missing, please let me know. It's eerie outside. Head out. Hmm? Prisoner room one. Is this a jail? Is there a jail in the factory? Why am I in a prison? Okay. New objective. Ugh. Why am I in a prison? I don't feel safe here. I need to find a way out. Can I interact with this thing? No? Blood? What happened here? I should find something to cover the blood stain. Is it gonna be this towel? Yes, it is. Take the towel. I want to look in there. Ah. Huh? What is that? Holy crap. What in the world was that? I'm happy she saw it, because I definitely didn't. I can't stay here. I need to find a way out. Prisoner room D. Okay, we gotta explore. How does anyone read these notes? How could you treat us like this? We have served you tirelessly these past eight years. What did we do to deserve this fate? Are we nothing more than furniture in your eyes? Um... That's actually really concerning. Because she wakes up as a doll. And... <gasps> well, she's stitched together from these other people. I mean... I don't know. Like... <gasps> that actually scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. I can't. Okay, I don't blame you. But you have to. There's something over there. Name? Charlotte Lawrence. Age 30. Prisoner ID? 1620. Charlotte. That's an elegant name. Right? Is there anything else amongst them? The papers? Because it's still shiny. transfer notice. Seems like this prisoner moved somewhere else. How does anyone read anything in this game? Page 10. She promised to protect us. But where is she now? I trusted her. She said she was willing to sacrifice for us. Yet, why are we the ones to be sacrificed? playing card, the Four of Diamonds. I'm very curious to see how these playing cards come into play. A wooden table. Seems light for its size. A hole behind the table? <sighs> I swear I'm gonna die so many times in this game. Just do... There's another prisoner's room behind this room. 
in memory of Sophia Manson. But as I was saying, I... Many times I wish I could turn back time and repent for my misdeeds. I would give everything to see you again, my dear sister. Huh. Why are these cute bunnies here in the cell? We're going to see another body. Okay. A well-made bed. Seems fancy for a prison. I almost get the sense that this isn't a prison, but it's like a real dollhouse, basically. Like a life-size dollhouse. Page 42. Yesterday, a man pleaded to me for his life, claiming what he did it was just petty theft. I had no choice. I had to feed my children, he said. After some contemplation, I departed, leaving the man with a few rounds in his head. Not long after, a woman assaulted me, accusing me of murder. I have no patience for those who impede justice. Without hesitation, I granted her the same fate as her husband. I need to be. A, I need to keep in mind these pages as well. I'm excited to see how this all comes together. A different pill. I wonder what it's for. Obtains a speed pill. Jesus knows we need that. To run away from that boogeyman out there. The Eight of Diamonds. What am I going to need these for, though? I mean, I'm pretty sure when the time comes it'll be quite clear, but... <gasps> oh, shoot! The battery! Luckily, I have a battery left. <laughs> Those bunnies! They weren't there before! Why me? Why does this happen to me? Protect this mom. Prisoner room G. Is this another pill? Yes! Was that one of those bunnies? Hey, a heart. The nine of hearts. A Dallas Carroll's Diary, page one. It was an accident. Why won't anyone believe me? I would never purposely injure anyone, let alone a close friend. Note on mental illness, narcissistic personality disorder. Mental conditions such as narcissistic personality disorder can at times lead to homicidal ideation it is advised that individual diagnosed with this condition undergo therapy. I've never actually met anyone with that. I used to work in a mental health clinic and I saw a lot of things, but not that. Ad Alice Carol. We're just going to call this person Carol. I can't pronounce that first name. I'm sorry. Diary page two. The murder wasn't my fault. The murder wasn't my fault. The murder wasn't my fault. Oh my god. Just obsessive writing. Oh, it's just a plant. Thank god. A poster of the play. I'm not that French. Carol is the star of this play. A play 
where she is shot and killed a, f a fellow actor in front of 2,000 audiences. Page 3. I was framed. I know it. These actions, they can't possibly be mine. I don't remember anything. I don't remember. I just don't. So, I must be innocent. Is it... Oh, this leads to the question, is it something other than narcissistic personality disorder? Just stepping on blood frightens her, the poor dear. Gonna explore a little bit more. It's locked. Can we go up? <gasps> the giant went this way. That's right. Ooh. A little spooked. Oh. Control room. A map of the facility. I can use it to navigate my way out. Huh. Her last name's Stockholms. Remember? But look. Private research lab is at the top. Wait. Did she see it too? Yes! I don't understand. Is this my father's doll factory? <gasps> this is very mad fathering. Okay. The screen shows the current amount of power being consumed. Zero percent. In all regards. A short story about a girl's journey through a land of wonder or nightmare. Is that going to be us? <laughs> Notice, if power usage is at 100%, automatic lock system for security gate A and B will be deactivated. I mean, that sounds like something very important that I should be working on right now. Is it math? Let's check out everything. A few moments later... I got it! Okay. This one's gonna be... Twelve? This one... That's correct. And... This one... Yes! Warning, warning. Power supply malfunctioning. Unlocking security gate A and B. Hopefully this plays in our favor. <gasps> Alright guys, so far so good. I mean... We haven't died yet, <laughs> which is quite optimal. Let's see what this is over here. A long wooden board looks quite sturdy. Yes. 
how did that giant... <gasps> I don't want to get us killed. <laughs> I really don't. Did we go down this way yet? It's one of those rabbit things again. <gasps> they are gone. I mean, we know that. We've seen them scurrying around. Wicked little things. Did they take that body with it? No. Oh. I feel like now is a good time to take a stability pill. It only cures 40%. Okay. So this is where the wooden board goes. Okay. An old diary. Henry is a good boy. Henry does what mommy tells him to do. Bringing friends home to play with and pushing them with... And punishing them with mommy's knife if they are naughty. Oh my god. How disturbing. Disturbing's right. It's locked. It's strange that there's nobody around. Oh no, the un <gasps> Jesus Christ. I suck. I got scared by I'm guessing that was a mouse. Are we not going to talk about the tendrils coming out of the wall? No. Okay. The structure of this door seems frail. Hmm. The door won't but Leave it. Leave it for now. This room seems really different from the other prison rooms. <laughs> the color of this alcohol, alcohol bottle seems unusual. Huh? That dripping sound. A messy bed. Exclamation point. Hmm. The smell of alcohol is unbearable. Something's under the bottle. Is it another playing card? It's a note. I still feel them. I still feel the guilt. The sorrow. The regrets. I must wash those feelings away. Like literally or with alcoholism? This, this prison room is a lot smaller. My hands are stained with the blood of the one that I left to die. I could do nothing to stop it. I failed them. I failed them all. I let everyone perish before my eyes. Are you the same person that wrote that note? Because that would make a lot of sense. In terms of feeling guilt and sorrow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Looks like we've got a couple more areas to explore on this floor. This is just not possible. How can those things be alive? And why are they attacking us? What did I do to deserve this? Is it talking about the rabbits? I don't have a good feeling about that. I'm gonna save. I'm a saveaholic. I didn't like that sound. The 
the button left for the first floor of the factory. Hmm. Without a password, of course. Ugh, this whole place is like crumbling in. So I'm trying to think. We have a room that's locked. We have two rooms that are locked, actually. And the frail door. Well, we saved. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was wrong. There's a few other other areas. It's just tallying up my saves. The gate requires a key to unlock. I don't have one. Mm -mm. A spool of thread. Very useful for sewing. It's like when your arms get detached or something. Victory condition for the game of 21. Oh, is this why we're collecting the cards? Okay. Result. Result of the player's cards is greater than the sum of the dealer's cards. Total value of the player's cards must not exceed 21. Collect all four cards. Zada. All four card slots must be filled by the player. Player must abide by the order of operations with multiplication being applied before subtraction and addition. Just, a, just an ordinary doll. No. I don't trust it. The locker won't budge. Okay. A deck of cards. It seems to be missing some. So those are the four slots. Huh. Twenty. Right. Is this referring to the cards that I have? Yes, yes. Sorry, girl. I returned from my lunch break and saw what was left of my co-workers' bodies on the floor. This is too much. Who in the world could have done such a thing? Maybe this is my imagination. Maybe I'm working too hard? Whatever it is, I can't bring myself to believe that any of this is real. I have six, I have five cards. Hang on. All right, hang on. I've got to do more math. I am not that good at on the spot math. Three hours later. So happy you guys got to see me get that. I was on the right track. What was that? I have to look. <gasps> Go.
god, her fright level, like, jumped. Save us, mom. Alrighty, guys. I think that's what we're going to call for now. I am actually really excited about this game. It's got a lot of mystery. It's got a lot of those Hallmark RPG Maker elements that I really like so much. And oh my goodness, it's exciting so far. She seems to be trapped in her dad's doll factory. I didn't even know it was her dad's. So I just knew initially, like I said at the start of this video, it was a doll factory. God, this is... Hang on. Let's unlock this real quick first. Before we call it. <sighs> you know what? No. This is the absolute perfect place to stop. Because this leaves me wondering and really excited for next episode. And this will leave you guys wondering and excited for next episode. So, we will be following some footprints and possibly trying to escape death with that speed pill that we got. So, ah! Alright, I am excited to keep playing this game. But let me guys know what you think in the comments, what's going on so far, all that good stuff. I'm really excited to hear from you. Alrighty, you all have a good day. Bye!